there are conflicting values. And taken in isolation, each of the values is quite legitimate. So the value of preserving human life, or for that matter, the life of any organism, uh, that, uh, uh, that is a value that we should accept. You shouldn't just go arbitrarily kill some animal because uh, it's fun to kill it. Uh, I, I, that's a reasonable value. On the other hand, most people will agree to swat a mosquito. Okay, well, that, uh, the idea that life is, should be valued has come into conflict with another value, uh, and we know what that one is. And that's commonly the case. Uh, the values that we hold are not absolute. Uh, they are always contingent. Uh, they conflict. Uh, and life is made up of decisions in complicated situations in cases of conflicting values. If you listen to just one in isolation, yeah, it may sound legitimate and, and maybe is, uh, but you have to ask what it means under particular conditions. So choice is legitimate, preserving life is legitimate, and sometimes they run into conflict. It's reasonably well, in fact, very well established uh, that as women have more opportunities, uh, more education, uh, as better medical care is available, as more family planning is available, fertility rates go down, abortion goes down, uh, um, uh, 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 children are better cared for and women are healthier. Those things are known, uh, and uh, those are all things that are, that are easily under social control and that are not, should not be controversial. I don't think there should be anything controversial about making sure that uh, women can uh, have access to decent, uh, uh, say, obstetric care. Now, that alone would save hundreds of thousands of lives every year. If you want to do things that will help people, there are very easy ways to do it. And that's not just true of women, it's also true of children. Uh, UNICEF also reports that, uh, if my memory is correct, that about 15 million children die every year uh, from mostly from easily treatable diseases, meaning uh, sometimes things like you know, lack of drinkable water uh, and, uh, or dehydration, you know, uh, and, uh, diarrhea, things that can very easily be treated and could be treated for literally pennies a day from the rich countries. Well, okay, if we're serious about saving lives, saving children's lives, there are easy ways to do it. Uh, uh, on the other hand, if you look at the same people who are uh, uh, most militant about uh, saving the fetus, are they calling for increasing uh, foreign aid? Are they, are they concerned with the fact that the United States has the most miserable, uh, miserly foreign aid program of any developed country? by quite a large margin. Uh, the country's got plenty of wealth, you know, the means are easily there. They're just being used, uh, the social policy is being designed to enrich the wealthy even further and let the poor suffer, if, let the children die, let them starve, let the mothers die, and so on. Uh, that's an overwhelming problem. Uh, once people Address, among people who are willing to address those problems, people who are willing to address those problems we can at least take seriously when they talk about values. When you can take people seriously when they talk about values, you can listen to what they say about other things like abortion, which is a hard question. But you know, I'm not, I don't think we should be interested in discussing it with people whose values are such that they don't care about the massive problem of uh, killing and harming women and children that they could easily deal with and are doing nothing about. Bible, like any complex historical text, uh, presents a God who can be called upon to justify mass genocide uh, and who can be called upon to justify uh, mercy to uh, widows and orphans. Same God, depends what you want to, what parts of the texts you want to interpret. Everyone in the debate is opposed to um, outright infanticide, that is taking a live child and deciding to kill them because it's too much trouble to take care of them. Everyone agrees on that. Uh, everyone agrees, I suppose, that uh, women are allowed to wash their hands. Although, I suppose, I guess you could make a case if you went over to the biology department that when a woman washes her hands, uh, lots of cells flake off and some future technology might be able to use the information in those cells to construct a potential child. So somewhere between, say, washing your hands uh, and uh, killing uh, you're a three-year-old. Somewhere between that, there are decisions to be there are decisions to be made about 
how we're going to balance what we call life, which in fact is there in the cells on your hand, uh, how we're going to balance what we call life against lots of other problems. And those decisions are not simple. Uh, people who say, well, I know it's at the, this number of days, uh, they can't be taken seriously. What we're talking about, ambiguous issues of a complicated kind, where you have to balance conflicting interests and concerns, as is generally the case in human life. You're not going to get the answers from holy texts. You're not going to get the answers from biologists. Uh, these are matters of uh, uh, human concern that have to be discussed seriously, reasonably, with uh, attention to the uh, array of value, differing values often that people have and different decisions they may come to under similar circumstances.